Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome. You're watching the English news program on Somaliland National Television with me, Burkhat Sheikh Habib. Coming up, the most of the stories making headlines. Somaliland Minister of Resettlement, Reconstruction and Rehabilitation holds a meeting with WFP representative in Somaliland. Director General of Ministry of Information, Culture and National Guidance holds a meeting with Somaliland community in Norway. U.S. steps up efforts to prevent the spread of Ebola. Somaliland Minister of Resettlement, Rehabilitation and Reconstruction held a press conference to discuss the wider issues that he discussed it with the WFP newly representative nominated head of his program for Somaliland. Somaliland Minister of Resettlement and Rehabilitation held a press conference to discuss the wider issues that he discussed it with the WFP newly representative nominated head of his program for Somaliland. The minister pointed out that they focused on ways to cooperate and set up a smooth relationship between the two sides. The minister went on to say that during the meeting with the head of the WFP program for Somaliland, highlighted that they are ready to work with the government of Somaliland on the aspects pertaining development programs which are earmarked for food and work projects along with other WFP projects such as the reconstruction, rehabilitation of water wells, roads and other social projects, and the WFP tries to balance the available resources and the task is in hand. At the end of his press meeting, the minister expressed his satisfaction in the cooperation between the WFP and Somaliland Ministry of Resettlement, Rehabilitation and Reconstruction and remarked that the meeting has seen a great improvement in the way the programs are being facilitated in the country. Members of the Somaliland community in Norway organized an event to welcome the Director General of Ministry of Information, Culture and National Guidance, Mohamed Ilmi Adam. Members of the Somaliland community in Norway organized an event to welcome the Director General of Ministry of Information, Culture and National Guidance, Mohamed Ilmi Adam, present on the occasion by Somaliland representative in Norway and members from the three national political parties and the wide array of Somaliland community in Norway. The members expressed for the first time their appreciation of extending hospitality to the Director General of Ministry of Information, Culture and National Guidance. On the other hand, Mr. Mohammed Elmi Adam, the Director General of Information, is speaking on the occasion thanks for the community members in Norway for the warm welcoming. The Director General speaking at the event stated that he is highly appreciated for the courageous and nationalistic steps for the Somaliland diaspora achieved to contribute on the developmental program is going on the country, including road development projects and call for the and call for them to double their extensive and hard work. He also stressed to elaborate for the community in Norway about the progress and achievements made on the aspects pertaining education, health and road development programs which are underway. Somaliland diaspora communities have played a long causal role on national building and developments as well as supporting Somaliland case of recognition and they have over decades remained strong movements and dedicated rise up their voices in support of Somaliland's sovereignty. Somaliland Good Governance and Anti-Corruption held a press conference to brave the media about assessments they made to the regions of the country. The National Good Governance and Anti-Corruption Commission released findings of citizens' perception on diverse governance issues and more specifically as pertains to corruption by good governance and servants. 
according to a press statement by the deputy chairman of the commission, Hussein Abdullahi Chama, accompanied by other officials in the commission. I've discussed it in detail about surveys conducted in the regions of the country with the intention of addressing the state of good governance and role of good governance and anti-corruption as in the country's way forward in aspects of social awareness. The chairman of good governance and anti-corruption is speaking to the press, stating more about the work in their office and said that it's part of the government structure. The chairman also enlightened about a visit they extended to the entire regions of the country and said that the aim was to impart an assessment mission and as well to raise awareness about the importance of good governance and the destruction of corruption. The officials stated in their press conference that they warned against the regional authorities to be corrupt and called for them to be honest for the nation. The chairman went on to say that they set up training programs for the regions to shed light upon the demolition involved on the corruption and the significance of good governance. The chairman finally added that the good governance is part of the country's way forward. Official members from the National Level Committee for Area Road Constructions, alongside other representative figures from Road Fund Collection based in London, have jointly embarked on supervisory assessment to the road linking borough to Area Official members from National Level Committee for Area Road Constructions, alongside other representative vigorous from Road Fund Collection based in London, have jointly embarked on supervisory tour to the road linking borough to Area Usman Abdrahman Al Ali, the chairman of Naval Company, contracted contracted the project and implemented the construction of first 10 kilometers half for the first time previewed the members of the work half for the first time previewed the members the work and where it's going Usman who is contracted pertained to assist with designing a master took there to Ariga for first 10 kilometers road management plan and it is construction he stated that they have achieved immeasurable milestones and added that they concluded the construction that they contracted and just waiting to hand over to the government. The Secretary National Level of Area Road Construction, Saadia Muse, spoke to the press and discoursed that this assessment tour is basically aimed to enlighten for the fundraising committee of Area Road Construction the achievements made so far. Faiza Khalid, the cashier of fundraising committee in London, expressed her views regarding the road construction so far achieved and stated that she is grateful for the work done to commence the first 10 kilometers. Faiza Khalid also provided some details regarding the fund collections they made. Somaliland governments doing much development in maintaining roads in the country. A few months ago, the road between Berbera and Hargeisa was maintained. Road between Hargeisa and Gabile was also maintained. The road between Arigavo and Buro has been commenced and maintained the first 10 kilometers so far. The government's redoubling its effort for the road maintenance in the country. You're still watching English news program on Somalia National Television and coming up the international news in detail. After the death of the first Ebola patient diagnosed in the U.S., officials in Texas have announced a second patient with possible exposure to the Ebola virus has been admitted to hospital. After the death of the first Ebola patient diagnosed in the U.S., 
Officials in Texas have announced a second patient with possible exposure. Today, Paula Fires has been admitted to hospital. It said he is not one of the 48 people being monitored after having had direct contact with Thomas Tunicon. Frisco City Fire Chief Mark Bylan made the announcement. This patient has reported that he had initially been in the apartment of the polar patient in Dallas and had some contact with family members. I'd like to emphasize that in this time, our information is he had not had contact with patient Thomas Donacon, but with his family members who had been inside the apartment. Thomas Duncan died on Wednesday after contracting Ebola in Liberia. It's pleaded that his body will be cremated to kill any virus in the body. Efforts are now being stepped up in the U.S. to prevent the deadly virus from spreading. Five of America's largest airports are to begin screening travelers from West Africa where the current Ebola outbreak is raging. The battle for the Syrian Kurdish town of Kobani reached a new intensity on Wednesday with constant shelling and gunfire between Islamists and the town's Kurdish defenders. The battle for the Syrian Kurdish town of Kobani reached a new intensity, a new intensity on Wednesday with constant shelling and gunfire between Islamist militants and towns of Kurdish defenders. Back in Washington at a strategy meeting, President Obama admitted that U.S. airstrikes alone won't save the Poitiers town. He wants more coalition support but rejected Turkey's suggestion of an internationally projected buffer zone. U.S. State Department spokesperson Chen Bazaki spoke for the president. We are not considering the implementation of buffer zone. We are happy to hear from our partners and listen to them and talk to them about the range of options that we have before us. So far, Ankara has been criticized for taking no military action to help the Kurdish town near its border, but the government has defended itself and saying it has accepted thousands of refugees fleeing the fighting. That's the end of our English News Desk on Somaliland National Television. Until we meet for the next time, goodbye.